so today we are going to discuss about beta distribution there are two kinds of beta distribution so beta distribution of first kind so continuous random variable x is said to have beta distribution with parameter m and n if the probability density function is f of x equals to 1 over beta of m comma n into x to the power m minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus x to the power n minus 1 where x varies between 0 and 1 m and n are greater than 0 so mean estimate of x is given by m by m plus n and variance of x is given by m n by m plus n plus 1 into m plus n square another kind of beta distribution that is of the second kind is as follows a continuous random variable x is said to have beta distribution with parameters m and n if the probability distribution density function is So the probability density function is given by f of x equals to 1 by beta of m comma n into x to the power m minus 1 divided by 1 plus x to the power m plus n where x varies from 0 to infinity and m and n are positive that is they are greater than 0. Here the mean that is estimate of x is given by m by n plus n minus 1 and variance of x is given by m into m plus n minus 1 divided by n minus 1 whole square into n minus 2 so let's go through some properties if x and y are independent gamma variates with parameters m and n respectively then the variable u which is x plus y and z which is given by x by x plus y are independent and u is square root of n plus n variate and z is Z is theta of m comma n variate. Second property is if x and y are independent comma variables with parameters m and respectively. Then the variables u defined as x plus y and z as x by y are independent and u is square root of m plus 1 variate and z is beta of m comma n variate. While writing down the third property, I will tell you the applications of beta distribution. Beta distributions are used in order statistics. This is an important application. Rule succession and in Bayesian interface mostly they are used as they provide a family of conjugate prior probability distributions. So these and gamma functions are somewhat similar but not same. You would have seen the relationship between gamma and beta distribution in the video of gamma distribution. Thank you.